Hey guys, I'm Abigail here with another baritone ukulele tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to play my fingerstyle arrangement of What a Wonderful World. Be sure to check out the description of the video for timestamps and use the playback settings to speed up or slow down the video as needed. Let's get started. We're playing this song in the key of C, so the first thing I'll do is review the C major scale. Normally, to play a C major scale, I would take my G major scale pattern and move it up to the 5th fret like this. If you want to learn more about major scale patterns, you can check out the video linked above. But because in this case we have to match our melody notes with chords, we're going to play sort of a funny looking version of the C scale. So we'll actually start here on the first fret of the B string, and that's the note C. We're only going to play the first five notes of the C major scale, which are C, D, E, F, and G. C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Once you've practiced that a few times, we'll do the same thing in reverse. G, F, E, D, C. G, F, E, D, C. So now let's put those together and go up and down the first five notes of the C major scale a few times in a row. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. After that, we'll go back to our note C and work our way down a few steps in the C major scale like this. C, B, A, and G. C, B, A, G. Once again, we'll reverse the pattern and work our way up from G to C. G, A, B, C. G, A, B, C. Now we'll put those together, going down and then back up. C, B, A, G, A, B, C. Let's practice that a few times in a row. C, B, A, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, A, B, C. Now those two sections of scale that we just learned will cover most of the notes in this song. There will be a few more further up the neck, but this is definitely enough to get us started. Now we'll take a moment to focus on the melody. This is always a great opportunity to form that connection between what you hear in your mind and what you play with your fingers. You can make tons of mistakes here, but figuring out the melody by ear is always amazing practice. So I'm going to start the line and then you pause the video and take a few moments to figure out the next few notes in the song. Then I'll finish out. I see trees of green, red roses too. Now pause and it's your turn. Did you figure it out? I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Because this is an A-A-B-A -A -A song form, you've just learned the melody for almost three quarters of the song. So let's move on and look at the chords for this section of the song. I'm going to put the chords and chord diagrams up on screen and play through this section. We're going to use the chords that appear in my arrangement rather than the easiest version of the chords, so there are two bar chords that we need to look at ahead of time. The first is this F chord, which you'll notice is just like playing our C chord if we had a capo up at the fifth fret, but in this case, our finger is the capo. The other one to look out for is this A flat chord, which is just like playing our E or F shape barred up at the fourth fret. Let's go ahead and play through this section of the song together. One, 
two, three. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Finally! Now we're finally ready to put together the chords and the melody. I'll play through each sections with the tabs displayed, and I'm going to sing the lyrics to help us keep track of where we are. Let's start with the first eight measures. One, two, three. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a There's nothing too crazy here outside of those bar chords that we already talked about. It'll take time to get those shapes in your fingers and memorize how far up the neck to go, but it'll sound beautiful when you're done. Also, once I'm comfortable with an arrangement, I like to add some rhythm during longer pauses. So you might eventually end that section with some extra strums like this. What a wonderful The next eight measures repeat a lot of the same material, but the ending will be different. So let's give it a try. One, two, three. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful After that, we come to what's called the bridge. The bridge starts with a really beautiful C-sharp diminished 7 chord, which looks like this. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, pointer finger, ring finger, middle finger, pinky finger. This section of the song might be the most challenging, but it's also my favorite. We'll spend a lot of time at this A minor chord, barred up at the 5th fret, which is the same shape as our E minor chord, but barred. We'll also play a sort of C sus chord by starting with our regular C chord and collapsing the pointer finger to get this note on the E string. So try that a few times. Now let's play through the bridge. One, two. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of the people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? Lastly, we have the last A section, which is mostly repeated material with a nice little tag section. Now there are two chords to be aware of going into this section. The first is this A7 chord. If you want, you can make this a regular A chord, and notice that it's the same shape as our A flat, but one step further up the neck. Then we'll have a chord with a crazy name that isn't actually that complicated to play. It's the A flat 7 sharp 11. We can play that by barring with our pointer finger or just using three fingers. Now let's give this last section a try. One, two, three. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I'll ever know, and 
I think to myself What a wonderful world Oh And I think to myself What a wonderful world Oh That's just about it for today, but we'll go ahead and play through the full arrangement with tabs in just a minute. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you for watching, and thank you to my Patreon patrons. Please let me know if you have any questions, or if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom lesson. I'll see you again soon, and let's give this song a try! One, two, three.